Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 33 bringing you a match once again between Ekins and the Sponge, this time on Battle for Planet 17. So let us begin. So, Battle for Planet 17 is an asymmetric map. As you can see, it's also really bright. But it's asymmetric. This section in the middle does not line up, there's no symmetry to it. The Sponge starting on the southeast corner of the map, and Ekins starting on the north side of the map. Also, you can see the start points are kind of off, so. This is one of those really bizarre maps just due to the asymmetry, but I digress. Now the Sponge going for a Cloakybot start, while so is Ekins. Both players going for Cloakybots, and on this map, I've seen Cloakie and Shield work to great success. You don't often see others, but yeah, see, the Spiders wouldn't really have a huge advantage. These hills aren't that inaccessible. I have seen Spiders used on this map, but not often. So, it's... It is definitely a map that works best for Cloaky and Shield just overall. They do fine with it, and Cloaky and Shield are typically the most reliable factories anyway. That and light vehicles, but don't use light vehicles on this map. It doesn't work very well. So, Ikins coming along the south side to raid out, and the Sponge going through the center. Looks like the Sponge is going to be hitting Ikins' base before Ikins hits the Sponges, and... No, the Sponge is going around to the side. Not a bad idea. He's expecting that there's something in the front defending, which actually is sort of true. There is this laser tower. The Lotus is up there, and there is a Lotus as well inside of the Sponge's base. But from the Sponge's point of view, there's no particular angle that won't cause it to be defended. And one of the Metal Extractors is going... No, not going down! Oh, there we go. Okay, Akins manages to get rid of one of the Metal Extractors before his Glaives are destroyed. And the Sponge's Glaives not actually going into attack. Akins has enough Lotuses set up the Glaives are not going into attack, as you can see there's one around the side and are coming back down following their footprints. They are going up towards the center, and this is going to be a lost fight unless the Sponge pulls up some really powerful micromanagement. Though it looks like Ikins and the Sponge, are they aware of each other? Yes, they are well enough aware of each other that they are going to start... They are closing in, but the Sponge... The Sponge looks like he might be trying to... He might be going into a trap there. Okay, now it's evened out, but Akins is moving his commander forward, and that will stop any fights. At this point, Akins has a very slight advantage. He is getting off to the side. The Sponge keeps getting this straggler glaive over here, and that's taking a lot of damage. Well, Akins not losing any glaives. One, his straggler glaive actually going too far off, and that's starting to deal some decent damage. But at this point, both players basically haven't taken any damage, and Akins is in a much better position. His commander is moving forward. Well, the Sponge has just started to expand, but he hasn't actually started to get anything going for expansion. Nothing to show for his expansion yet. So Ekins has an advantage for expansion for metal. And the Sponge, on the other hand, getting more units, getting some warriors as well, just try to deal with these glaives without having to worry about micromanagement. Just going straight for glaive attack, or anti-glaive attack. And Ekins, on the other hand, focusing entirely on glaives. Start, also getting a tick as well, just in case... He needs one, and he might as well. Ticks are a great force to have, especially if you're not sure how well you're going to be able to micromanage around a set of glaives that your enemy has. At this point, Ekins should be able to surround and kill the glaives, but it looks like the sponge is trying to go for a flank on those glaives, and the tick is coming to try to deal with that. At the same time, neither player really wants to engage, neither want to commit and destroy their forces. They're just setting up for an engagement. The warrior coming in, however, and a tick coming in, the Sponge, able to see the tick as it comes in, but still half of his glaives are stunned, and Akins moves in for the kill. I think he will have it, getting rid of most of these glaives, all these glaives going down to his own. That is huge. That is where the tick comes in, and that tick totally paid off. At this point, the Warrior is the only chance that the Sponge has to get back in this game, but even then, Akins has his own Warrior. And we'll see how this goes. The Warrior is coming up to the glaive, getting rid of one of the glaives, but the group of ten is avoiding those that Warrior... Group of 10 Glaives, that is. And this warrior, unable to do any damage at all. I think the Sponge is just going to throw in the towel. I don't think he has really anything to go for him at this point. He might persist, though. He might continue along. But Ikins has such a huge military advantage, having gotten rid of everything the Sponge has sent at him so far, with basically no losses. The Sponge still building up his metal and so forth. He does have a metal advantage, that's for sure. But he's not building up a whole lot of force. A tick on his own actually would be a good idea. And he does have a tick coming up. It is queued up. Akin's coming along to the left side of the map. And the Sponge, not aware of this. He will be aware of it from the radar, though. But that will be too late by the time he sees it. And Akin's moving in. He is 
Actually, his formation's a little bit off, so some of these glaives will be picked off by the sponges, but I'm not too confident for Akins. He is able to get rid of the melee extractors that built up, and at the same time, this is a nice distraction for his main force coming along to the south, and will be able to get rid of everything inside of the sponge's base. The sponge is out of position to defend against that. However, the sponge doing his best, but losing his commander and all of his glaives to a warrior, I... And Akins now going in for the kill, taking out everything inside of the sponge's base. There's a tick coming up to try to deal with this, and that tick, able to get rid of half the glaives, but not all of them. Well, able to stun them, and the laser turret able to get rid of the rest. Able to finish off all those glaives. One of them just at the edge of its range, too. That is painful. Almost got out of there, but not quite. Still, Ikin's getting map control, getting a bunch of expansions around the map, and making sure that the sponge loses what little expansions he had. Now, the sponge is trying to get his rector around the map, trying to expand, take what he can, but it's not going to work out. Building warriors of his own to get rid of the glaives. However, that's going to be tricky. I think, yeah, Akins has won this game. The sponge throws in the towel, and that is probably going to be it for me tonight. So I hope you enjoyed those games, and thank you all for watching. Have a good night, everybody.